I apologize for the brief interruption there. My son needed to ask me something. So anyways, this is nasty compost tea. St I say nasty because, not because it is nasty, but because it's stinky. Um, but it works wonders on these guys. It's better than miracle Grow. I have a blog on my, my blog, uh, an article on my blog that I write all about it. And I'm sorry about the kid in the background. Um, okay, so anyways, there's fennel, we've got corn, we've got zucchini, we've got eggplant, we've got hot peppers. Again, remember on my blog, I don't remember what kind it was. Uh, bell peppers. Tomatoes. These are var uh, varieties that are grown here in Alaska. Salsify. More tomatoes. Pineapple sage. Uh, I think another one was a... Oh gosh, I don't even remember. We have two different varieties of sage. Um, Thai, um, hot peppers. This is our bed where we have radish, turnips, carrots, more radishes that we planted later on, red quinoa, forage. Uh, that was an accident. I didn't mean to plant that much. I didn't expect that they were going to grow. I've never had good luck with them. Uh, rutabaga, dill, if you can even see it. Catnip for the cat. I don't know if she deserves it right now. She's in trouble. Uh, snow peas, uh, more borage, uh, lettuce greens, more snow peas, carrots, snow peas, more carrots, cilantro, um, my husband and I have been debating, I say that that's his mistake, he says that's my mistake, we don't know whose mistake it really is, but I think we're going to be eating a lot of cilantro, I think we need some tomatoes, Anybody want to donate? Uh, so that way we can start making some salsa. Um, all sorts of peas, beans. I don't know. I've heard from our farmer from the CSA that beans and peas don't go well for them. I don't know. We're going to have to see how it works. So far we've had really massive successes. We'll see what happens. Um, this is our lettuce bed and brassicas. And as you can see, it's become a monster. I'm having to trim this like almost every day now. The plants have become so big, I'm never, ever, ever going to plant, like, broccoli. This is a Romanesco broccoli in there, and there's also Brussels sprouts in there. I'm never going to plant these guys this close to each other. And we've also got rapini in here, mache. Um, these guys were part of a, a either a edible flower mix that I got, <laughs> or they were stowaways in our dirt, because I believe that's fireweed. It grows all over the place here in Fairbanks, Alaska. And I think, unfortunately, it's hitched a ride in our garden. That's okay, though. I'll just make jam out of the flat or jelly out of the flowers. Uh, we do have two different types of winter squash. Oh, by the way, we have a little bit more lettuce. Kale. Uh, that is a broccoli. Brussels sprout. Brussels sprout. Uh, hiss up. Another tomato. That is a winter squash. Um, this one was called uh, Buttercup. I like to grow the unusual ones. I, I, you know, I can get a butternut at the grocery store. I don't care. I want to grow something that I cannot get at the grocery store. Another tomato plant. This was actually from our arrow garden. And it's suddenly fighting back. In fact, it's even got flowers on it. Did you see that? It's got flowers on it now. And that's our peony that is now six years old, somewhere around there. Um, so that's pretty much how our plants are doing right now. Um, and next week I'll take another picture and we'll see what the, the change is.